Oftentimes when I talk about the move to Wayland, it's in the context of things like GNOME and KDE, desktops that actually have Wayland support. Sometimes in the context of these smaller desktop environments that are either working on something or some form of scaffolding or roadmap for what they want to do. Things like Budgie, things like XSE, as for Cinnamon, they've made some like offhand comments about it, but nothing's really set in stone. But what about these smaller systems, my personal interest, the standalone window managers? Things like i3 do have a drop and replacement like Sway, and Qtile literally has a version with a Wayland compositor. Plus there are plenty of Wayland first environments, things like River, things like Wayfire, but what about things like Awesome WM, DWM, Openbox, or today's topic, Xmonad. Now, as the name would suggest, Xmonad is an X11 window manager. It's also made by a very small team of core developers who've only ever done X11 work. And much like Qtile, it's one of these window managers that is configured in the language it's written in. This time not being Python, instead being Haskell. And like most X11 window managers with basically any sort of user base, some people occasionally ask, what about Wayland support? The earliest time being back in 2016. Since Wayland is becoming the mainstream display server for Linux and X will only be supported through X Wayland, would it make sense to support Wayland 2? Now for context, Fedora 25 was the current version of Fedora and they had just started shipping Wayland by default. This was very early days for Wayland actually making it out there in the mainstream. It was not ready at all at this point. Maybe if you just used a web browser and used a text editor, you would be fine. But for regular people, it was a long way away from being ready. So unsurprisingly at the time, there was very little support for doing this. Geekasaur here is one of the developers on the project and is actually still a developer today. Not happening, because Xmonad is too tightly tied to X11. No matter how hard you try, the result would not be compatible with Xmonad, its contribs, or any configs. Significant parts of Xmonad are also not applicable to Western because they are no longer part of the window manager component. They were moved to the compositor or application level, themes, etc. Now, he didn't really have a good understanding of how Wayland worked. He thought that Western was like a display server sort of thing that you build the window manager on top of, and this will be a bit of a recurring trend. And at the time, this was marked as won't fix, but it wasn't locked. So over the years, people have had a bit of discussion here and there. Maybe we can do it like this, maybe we can do it like that. Here's some parts that will work, here's some parts that won't, but this issue didn't really end up going anywhere. After that, in 2019, another issue was made. Wayland support. There is an old closed issue, number 38, which is this one here, but recently Red Hat announced it will stop developing Xorg, so switch to Wayland is inevitable. And that is sort of a precursor to this. This is part of the RHEL 9 documentation released in 2022. Xorg server is now deprecated. The Xorg display server is deprecated and will be removed in a future major row release. The default desktop session is now the Wayland session in most cases. Red Hat is working on resolving the remaining problems and gaps in the Wayland session. For the outstanding problems in Wayland, see the known issue section. But that doesn't mean that Xmonad now just suddenly has to go and support Wayland. They could say no. So, at the time, there still wasn't really that much support. Never going to happen for Xmonad. As the name suggests, it is very tightly coupled to Xorg slash X11. The whole concept of a separate window manager is really going away with Wayland anyway. The compositor and window manager are the same thing in most Wayland implementations. I believe right now, any of the implementations that people actually use the compositor and window manager are the same thing. There's probably someone doing experiments out there, but I certainly don't know of a system. But you can check out Waymonad for a Haskell-based Wayland compositor, and that is a really good point. During this time, a new project was started, that being Waymonad, 
a Wayland compositor based on ideas and inspired by X Monad. However, this date right here and uh, these numbers right here don't exactly inspire confidence. At this point, the project is basically abandoned. So after the last commit in 2019, the expected issue was made two years later. Is the project abandoned? I don't know. Does this look abandoned to you? What do you think? However, to be fair, it wasn't actually abandoned. Just this repo was. Someone actually forked the project and kept it going all the way up to 2021. Where it was abandoned again. However, whilst the implementation is dead, the idea itself may not be. This thread, for an issue that was not being worked on, has actually been quite active. Like, really, really active considering that nothing is being done. And eventually, one of the developers of the original Waymonad actually chimed in. Early this year, on August 4th, 2023, I should probably rise up from the dead. First, a short comment why this thread went like it went. I had no energy to concern myself with this project for a while due to a mix of mental health and going from being a student to full-time work. You know, totally normal real-life reasons for not wanting to work on some random open-source project that nobody's actually using in the first place. And when I first got back to this, it had already gone on for a while. I think it had been going on for like a year and a half, so... People just kept going, 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 not really knowing what's actually going on. I admit, I was slightly amused to see if you'll ask if a project that hadn't been committed to in literal years is abandoned. Maybe I should have taken a closer look and joined the Matrix chat. I think I still idled in the IRC channel roughly until Freeno died. However, he feels like a need to apologise to the developer of the fork. Had I seen your fork in time, I'd probably have given you the keys to this here. Though I see the awesome done any public work in a couple of years, considering that this is all, like, supposed to be open source stuff, I'd be very surprised if there was anything going on, like, privately that just hadn't been shown publicly. If you really want this to survive, or rather, resurrect, I think it's best to just start opening PRs here, or work on your own fork. A dead project attracts no one, including prospective maintainers. An understaffed one, though, that might be the change you want to see. I can help anyone that wants to take this series with some code and concept walkthroughs, but that's the most I expect for myself, at least until someone else removed the bit rot and got this back far enough to parody with Sway that I'll want to switch back on my main system. And there were two comments after this, but that's pretty much the end of Waymonad. However, it's not the end of Xmonad on Wayland. Back on the main Xmonad project, something is going on. It's not code just yet. But we are getting very, very close to that. So this post was made by Geekasaur, the guy who had zero interest in doing Wayland support for Xmonad over on the Haskell forums. Xmonad for Wayland. Call for help. We on the Xmonad dev team have been collecting contributions for the past two years with an eye toward paying someone to work on a port of Xmonad to Wayland, since none of us are up to the task. That puts it roughly in line with this fork of Waymonad existing, and also this issue being made in the main Waymonad project, or the original project I guess might be a better term for it. We think we now have enough contributions coming in monthly to pay for someone to work with us on it. They have both the GitHub sponsor page with 54 monthly supporters, which for a small project like this is actually fairly impressive, and also the open collective page, which right now has a balance of $12,000, which is actually really, really crazy for a small project like this. They also made a post over on the open collective, basically saying the exact same thing they said on the Haskell forums, just making it a bit more about collecting donations here so they can actually afford to pay someone. Anyway, back to the main post. Problem is, we have no idea who can do this. So this is a call for help. Looking for someone who can write it. There is an existing project, that being this version here, but it's badly bit rotted, including using a very old and buggy version of W Roots. And Elaz has had very little time to revisit it. And it's not clear that it's worth revisiting. Now, as we established earlier, the developers here don't have a great understanding of Wayland. 
as indicated by this. One problem that's unlikely to be solvable is that Wayland programs don't set distinct identifiers that a manage hook could use, so the app name and class name hooks can't be ported. We welcome information to the contrary though. There are hooks, there are window rules on things like Sway, I'm pretty sure River probably has them, Hyperland has them. This is something that absolutely can be done. And luckily there is someone in this thread that has some level of understanding about specifically dub your roots. It has to be exposed as a window property. Property dumps I've seen from Wayland don't seem to include it. If there's a way for the window manager component to query it, then it might be supportable, but that's one of the reasons we need someone familiar with Wayland. Waylandified Xmonad would have to be a compositor not an independent program like an X window manager. Compositors will have access to the Windows app ID because they play the server role in Wayland. If Waylandified X Monad is going to be based on W root, and I'd be shocked if it's not, there's pretty much no options unless you want to go and fork Western directly or build off of like Mudder, which I highly recommend you don't do. They don't want you to do that. Or like build off of Kwind, which... I don't know if they want you to do that, but WROOTS is probably just the best way to go about it. The WLR XDG top level struct is where you'll find the app ID field and set app ID signal for when the application changes its app ID. Now, considering how long this project has been put off, you might be wondering why start it now and just why bother doing this in the first place? Because I can imagine a lot of window managers are never going to be ported over to Whale and have a Whaling compositor version. Most of them are probably just going to, like, fade into the era of history. One user asked, I'm a big fan of Xmonad. I've been using this for years. What would be the advantage of using Wayland? Mostly that X11's days are numbered. Although I expect it to last until at least 2030 due to Red Hat's contractual obligations. I would say 2032, due to it being in Rel 9 and like the main support period goes for 10 years. So after that point, then we'll have to see what's actually going on with it. But video drivers are already starting to become less reliable as chipset manufacturers refocus on Wayland instead of X11. I don't know where he's heard that. Um, maybe with like weird hardware like the Apple Silicon, but when it comes to the like mainline AMD, Nvidia, Intel stuff, most people say the experience is either equivalent or, in the case of NVIDIA, a little bit worse. This is already affecting games and other programs which are becoming more stable under Wayland than X11. Other programs, yes. Games, mm, uh, not really. I'm not really, once again, I'm not really sure where he's read this from. Now, this thread, as you can see, hasn't really had that much attention. It has eight total comments and... The one person who says, hey, I'd be interested in working on it, doesn't have experience with X11 or Wayland stuff, doesn't really have that much experience with Haskell, instead has a lot more experience with C++. So, you know, not exactly the prime candidate for hiring for this position. I'm sure they're a great developer, but they don't have the knowledge they need for this specific role. My recommendation... I, I'm not a Wayland developer. I'm not a Linux graphic stack developer, but I do think there is something you can do. Take a look at a project like the Hyperland project. So this is Hyperland. Hyperland is incredibly successful right now. 11,000 styles on GitHub. A lot of people really love this project. It's sort of becoming the de facto standard that a lot of people go to if they want a WL Roots window manager, kind of replacing the spot that Sway had. Now, prior to this, Vax made another project called Hyper. Hyper was an X11 window manager, and Hyperland takes a lot of those concepts and brings them over to Wayland. It adds a lot of extra stuff, but that was the window manager he did before this. And Vax didn't just learn everything to do Hyperland, just reading the documentation and coming up with it off the top of his head. He took a lot of inspiration from other projects, things like Tiny WO for showing how to do stuff, Sway for showing how to do stuff the overkill way, Vivarium showing how to do stuff the simple way, DWL showing how to do stuff 
the hacky way, and Wayfire if you care about doing some of the graphically stuff. That part probably isn't relevant to Xmonad, but I'll go and throw in things like check out what Waymonad did, or check out what River did, see what these other projects are doing, and then build your project off of them. There's no reason why a whale on a fired X monad would need to start entirely from scratch. It could start as a fork of another project and then build out from there. There is absolutely no reason why a whale on a fired X monad would need to start entirely from scratch. It could start as a fork of another project and then build out from there. But that is going to be a massive learning experience and there's probably not going to be anything usable for a long, long time into the future, especially something usable in a way that makes it feel like X Monad, so it's configurable in the same way, you can do all of the same stuff that you can already do right now. This is going to be a long-term project if you actually want it to be done. As for finding a developer to pay, I wish you luck. Maybe you can do it. But I wouldn't be surprised if any developer that has the knowledge you need is already too busy themselves making their own whaling compositor. Like, this is not a skill set that most people develop. The only people that really have it are the people that are already using it. I think it's probably a better idea to get the knowledge yourself and actually be able to get started. It's going to take a while, as I said. But... I think that's a way to get it practically done. If not, well, I guess Xmonad is just going to stay on X11 until the end of time. So let me know. Are you an Xmonad user? Maybe you actually have some experience writing a whaling compositor. If you do, be sure to get in contact with the developers. If not, just let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. So, if you liked the video, go like the video, and if you really liked the video and you want to become a one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, Scrub, Silly Vero Pay linked in the description down below. That's gonna be it for me, and I have no idea how I never tried this window manager.